Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I wanna to show you how to make this super cute Valentine treat box. Um, first of all, I wanna show you the products that we are using on the treat box. So I'm gonna start with, this is the meant to be stamp set that will be featured in our 2019 occasions catalog that goes live on January 3rd. So if you're watching this video before January 3rd, you might not be able to get the stamp set quite yet. Unless you get the starter kit, then you can always get um, the new products. Otherwise, just give it a couple days and you'll be able to get this meant to be stamp set. So super, super cute. We've got Happy Valentine's Day, I Love Our Life Together, Meant to Be, You Make Me Happy, just for you and to the best friend a girl could ever ask for. And then a bunch of great kind of hearts with lots of pretty detail. And then of course there are framelits that coordinate. So these are the Be Mind, excuse me, Be Mind stitched framelits and they are awesome. And there are a ton of them too. So you can see here is one sheet of all of the dies that you get in the Be Mind stitched framelits, okay? So if you can see all of those, and then actually there's a whole whole nother sheet with a bunch of hearts on them. And let me show you, for example, we're actually gonna use this little baby right here. So, and this large one does the same type of thing where on here it's gonna cut out that detail, kind of that skinny little piece, and then it also cuts out the inside, so a nice size heart there as well. And then the other one that we're gonna use on our card is this little baby right here who's gonna do some other fun. You can kind of see, if I get super close there, that little stitching detail. And then that other die cut out this piece and this one right here. So, so many great options. You can see um, some of them just do some stitching and then you can cut around those too and then a couple of different shapes of hearts so an awesome set of framelits that are you gonna love for your Valentine uh, cars and treats and all those fun projects that you're gonna be making soon so let's see what else do I want to show you guys actually let's talk about measurements and I'll show you how to actually make this treat box but let, let me show you actually first of all so this is a little belly band that just slips off of here <clears throat> And then here's the fun box and it just opens up and I have fit just a couple of Ghirardelli chocolate squares in here. Those fit perfectly right inside. You just fold that up, fold that guy up and then the belly band just slips right back on there. So super simple and easy, I'll show you. And I do have to mention too, this box design I cased from, I think it was from Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo Designs, the box itself. She did this uh, probably a couple of years ago and I have had so much fun over the years making different boxes, you know, for different occasions and holidays and things. So obviously we've kind of decorated this one up nicely for a Valentine treat box. So, okay, let me show you. We're gonna start with, this is a piece of lovely lipstick cardstock that measures a five and a half by seven inches okay and then the only other piece that you need in terms of measurements this is a piece of I think it's called all my love designer series paper and I'll show you that in just a sec the one thing I like to mention is that there's one side that's maybe a little bit more traditional Valentine-y although neither you know there are a few that have hearts on them these they're kind of, um, they kind of look like hearts, but they don't have to be, right? And then this other side is just a really pretty floral, kind of fun, um, bright colors there too. So uh, let me tell you measurement. This one is a two inch by eight inch belly band. And then just for fun, let's check out these are all of the patterns. I think I've got them, yep, I've got them all in there in the All My Love Designer Series paper pack. So if I set this down here, you can kind of see a little bit bigger. So for example, those are the hearts right there and then some big hearts. This is the piece that we're using with that pretty floral. And then the other um, kind of looks like vines almost, right? So these um, more pretty flowers with some very traditional Valentiney hearts, right? And then, oops, maybe I have that in there two times. Okay, that's the back side. I'm getting myself confused. I moved them around a little bit so they'd look nicely across here. So some of them are not front and back. That one is obviously front and back. And then, oop, it gets a little bit harder to pull those, right? Those two right there. And then those two right there. So you can see there's a nice variety. It's great for Valentine projects if you need it for Valentine's, but it doesn't have to be. Um, obviously lots of really beautiful floral images there as well. So great pack of designer series paper. 
Um, I gotta find a good spot to scoot that out of the way. So let me show you, let's make our box first. So we need, this is the um, scoring plate, right? Let me scoot that so you guys can see. So along this long side, we are gonna score, <clears throat> and I have it marked right here, at two and three eighth inches, okay? And then at four and five eighth inches, okay? And then along this short side, we are gonna score at three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, and then at four inches, and four and three quarter inches, okay? So that's all we need to do in terms of scoring. Now we can cut our box to get it all put together. So we are going to cut up along both of the long score lines, right? So we're gonna cut there and there, and then we do not need this little tab on the end there, so we're gonna cut him right off. And then we're gonna do the same thing over on the other side on this end. So cut up, cut up there, and then cut off, okay? And then on the other end of our box, we're gonna do same thing. So we're gonna cut up along that score line and cut up right there and then cut that little tab off. And then one more, right? So cut up here and then cut up along this one. And then we're gonna cut off the end of that little guy. And my eyes are a little bit off there. I'm gonna trim that up just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so got all of those pieces. So this is the start of our box. Now we want to round the corners of our box. So I'm actually gonna use my envelope punch board because it's got that little corner rounder in it. I found that that's the easiest way <clears throat> to round these. So we're just gonna pop that guy in there and that guy in there, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other end here. All right, we're gonna round that one and that one. And then we also need to round these little guys here too. So we're gonna pop him in there and the little flaps kind of get in the way. <laughs> you gotta fold them just right. And we got that one, and then these as well. You guys can see that. Gotta kind of shimmy them in there sometimes. Okay, and then one more side, and we will have all of our corner rounding done. There, okay, let's put those little pieces out of the way. All right, now to show you guys how to put your box together. Um, actually, let's fold in on these a little bit here too. So this is the idea. You're gonna put adhesive on this side and on this side, and then you're gonna fold this up, and those are gonna to stick together just like that. So it's really, really simple. There's almost no adhesive needed. So we're gonna put some adhesive there. I am still using my Fast Fuse if you have that. I definitely recommend using that over snail adhesive. If you don't have any more Fast Fuse, I would use your um, tear and tape you want something that's a little bit stronger. So you see how I'm doing that? I just folded the side in that has my adhesive. And I think it's kind of easiest to work with the box kind of laying flat right on the table. And that's it. Then if I had brought my bone folder, I would be showing you, I just want to kind of curl these a little bit so that they kind of fold in nicely. And there is your box. So how cute is that? And then those flaps just open up to put your treat right inside. Okay, so now let's get the, the decorating fun on our belly band. So I just have a couple of kind of scrap pieces here. This one we're gonna just die cut um, our heart, and then this one we need to do a little bit of stamping on. So I am gonna use my lovely lipstick ink pad, and always our tap, 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 nice and easy there. We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. Look at, I love that detail on that heart, super cute. And then another kind of a fun stripey one with my flirty flamingo ink. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap right on there and we're gonna stamp him right on there. And that, oh my gosh, it's almost like I need to re-ink this. I don't remember noticing that the other day when I made these. There, that's better. I didn't press hard enough maybe when I was inking that up. Okay, so now let's do our die cutting. We're gonna grab our Big Shot. I'm gonna put him right there. So I've got my magnetic platform that I use for my pins and my framelits. And we have to do kind of a couple of steps here. So let's do 
this guy. We're gonna die cut our heart. This is just um, the little kind of outside decorative edge is all we really want on this one. I'm gonna go back and forth here and I'm realizing I do not have my paper piercing tool. This is usually pretty handy to help me get this little baby out. But let me show you. So there's our heart. This is an extra heart that you can kind of put aside and use for another project. I'm gonna see if I can use my snips. Kind of thinking this might work. So in a pinch, just be careful not to poke yourself. So here is that beautiful, can you guys see the detail on that decorative edge? It does the stitching and then the little scallop edge around the outside too. So super cute. So that's what we, that's the piece we need for this card or project, treat box, I guess I should say. Now I'm going to use the same framelit to cut out the heart itself. And then again, I'm going to get that other decorative piece that I'm not going to use on this one, but I'm going to save it again for another fun project. And put that other little, oops, and then it moved my little baby heart. I want to get him on there just right. So carefully lay that down so I don't move things. Cranking our handle. Sorry if it wiggles for a sec here. And I'm going to go back because I want to make sure those get cut well for us. Okay. <clears throat> So check out this little cutie. Again, can you see all of the stitching and then the scallop edge? So that one does it all together where this one cuts out two different. So there's our heart and then I'm not, not even gonna bother, but there's another um, stitched edging scallop edge piece that's gonna be in our white cardstock. So saving that for another project, we do not need it for today, but you get lots of kind of extra pieces to make other fun projects with. Okay, so I'm gonna move that right back into view so I don't mess anything up. And let's see, then we can, let's get our box. So what I like to do, I'm gonna add a little bit of Fast Fuse along the end there. I'm gonna fold my box up and we're gonna flip this. Okay, and we just, we want to wrap this around. We don't want to go super tight because you want to be able to, um, you know, get this off. Let's actually scoot that a little bit. Yeah, so if you don't do it super tight, you'll be able to slide it off fairly easily. Okay, so again, use your sticky strip or fast fuse, whatever you have. And then this piece is going to slide right off of there, right? Oops, let me go back that way. Okay. So we've got that. Now we are going to add, let's see, where is, oh, actually I should tell you, this is a piece of the Sparkle Glimmer paper. And this one measures one inch by four inches. I forgot to tell you that measurement earlier. And we are just gonna cut the ends of our one by four inch Sparkle Glimmer paper with our banner triple punch, okay? And then where are my dimensionals? Oh my gosh, I forgot those. Give me one sec, I'm gonna go grab those. I will be right back. Because we need lots of height and dimension. Okay, here I come. There's always something, isn't there? Okay, so we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind these guys. And I actually kind of practiced this one. <laughs> um, and I thought I had, I thought I had everything and then that happens. Okay, so dimensionals on that banner piece, right? Then I am going to use the back of this little guy. I would normally use my silicone craft sheet, but I don't have that with me right now because apparently I forgot that too. So you want to use some um, kind of strong adhesive. Snail will work too if you don't have fast fuse any longer, but I just put it kind of on either edge because I want this to stick right on that banner, okay? because then what we're gonna do is we are going to put some dimensionals right behind this heart. So he pops up. So it's kind of like that little frame is floating kind of back underneath or behind that heart. You see how that works? So it's kind of just laying back underneath there, right? Then we need another dimensional for our little stitched edge heart and we're gonna pop him right there. And then we have some of our ribbon. 
I um, do not remember the name of this ribbon. It's a combo pack. So if you can see, this is a super kind of delicate. This ribbon is in Flirty Flamingo. And then there's another really pretty, kind of a darker in this um, lovely lipstick color. And it's actually probably about, maybe it's a half inch wide, but it's got white stitching on either edge. Beautiful, might be the Be Mine um, ribbon combo pack. I cannot remember the name of it. Um, but it's awesome. You're going to love that. And if I haven't said before, I will include the item codes for everything that we are using in the details to the YouTube video. Um, so you won't have to search for any of those when you're ready to order these things. You will be able to get right to it. Just check out the details of the YouTube video and all those item codes will be right there. Now I'm going to just use, because a glue dot is even too much. So can you see I just ran a little bit of adhesive with my snail, and then I like to, it's almost like I make it in like a little line, if you can see that. Perfect size, not too much stick, just enough to put my little heart on there. And that is it. So isn't that so cute? And then like I said, because I have the chocolates in this one, right? You can fit a couple of those Ghirardelli chocolates, fit perfectly right inside there. So. How fun, I hope you enjoyed that little cute Valentine treat box. Uh, make sure you check out my blog at gatheringinspiration.com for lots of other ideas and fun things happening. I have started doing Facebook Live videos every Friday. They're always uploaded to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com or if you search for the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio group on Facebook, Everyone is welcome to join that group. Um, like I said, Facebook Live videos every Friday at 11.30. I do lots of fun giveaways, lots of fun projects and tutorials. So check those out. I'd love, you, love to have you watch any of those videos. And I do upload those um, Facebook Live videos too, right here to YouTube too. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you'll never miss out on anything that's going on. And then, like I said, if you're ready to order any of the products that we used on this fun, treat box today. You can shop at my website at amysuzanne.stampinup.net. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.